We're doing a thing and I feel like I should be filming it because I haven't vlogged in a long time. Um, so let me catch you up. Hi, welcome to this week's vlog. For starters, Mum's here! Yay! Hi. And secondly, we bought another TV. So we went to Aldi. I had to do a big shop. Um, Mum came with me, so I blame her. Because she saw this TV before I did. <laughs> oh, the dog wants to come in. Hang on. Anyway, um, dog, we put her out because we were putting up the TV and she wanted to, you know, be involved. Hello, can I jump on the TV? So, um, saw this at Aldi. It's a 55-inch born TV. We were kind of on the TCL bandwagon and probably still are. This was very cheap. It was $469, I think. And I sent a picture to Chris. They had two. They had a 55 and a 43 inch. And I was like, what do you think? And he's like, that's really cheap. And we don't mind, you know, budget TVs. Anyway, we decided we were going to give it a go. Chris said, bigger is better. We were going to put it in our bedroom, but you'll be able to see the stands. It wouldn't fit on our cupboard that we have our TV on. So we're going to try this out. I don't know if we will pick up another one of these and wall mount it in our bedroom or if we will go back to a TCL for our bedroom. But we got a TV. And I, we made another mess. And we've got more boxes. So many boxes everywhere. Anyway, I'm setting this up. We'll see what, what we think of it. Oh my God, I look, look, is that what I look like? Yeah. Oh my God. Um, we've come to the Canning Vale Markets. Mum's here. Uh, she bought a wand, crystal wand. Um, and I actually just picked up a bunch of plants show you when I get home. Is anyone surprised? No one's surprised. Um, I found someone selling like all of the sort of inexpensive plants that um, I left at home and was like, you know, I've, these are things I can buy quite cheap in the future. And they were $5 each, which is even cheaper than what I thought I would get them for. So I'm really happy. They need a little TLC, but don't worry, your girl Haley is uh, on the job mostly allocations which are some of my favorites so i'm excited about that uh but we're gonna keep looking around and i'll check in with you later guys they have a lolly bus do you see i'm on a bus and it's full of lollies i'm not gonna lie i mean i feel like a little kid in heaven look at the giant gummy bears um i saw they had millions here which i've not seen in years oh my god a gummy lunch Oh my god, these guys are so fun. Blackjacks, I haven't seen them in years. Oh my god, how fun. I love it, I love it. Oh, I feel like I'm in heaven, sugar heaven. Ooh, sour peaches? What? I might have to get something, guys. I need a minute, but look at this. Look at, look at, look at all this. How fun. Guys, it's a nearly half kilo gummy burger. This place is the best. Look, they also have a big gummy gnome and they have fantails. Didn't they just take these off the market? So rude. Maybe I need to buy some fantails. The lolly bus. It's awesome guys, so much fun. Really, really fun. Oh, plants and lollies, yay. Hi, Freya girl has her treat from the market, smoked marrow bone, which she's enjoying very much. Um, we popped into Bunnings because I had to get some soil for repotting some plants that I picked up and I found these guys. They were, were they $2.99 each? Yep. Really cheap. So we got some Roma tomatoes, snow pea, uh, spring onion, that's chives. And these are sweet bite tomatoes. So like the mini, like cherry tomatoes on the little vine. Um, we're gonna put together some 
planters for some veggies. And this was my market haul. So I did, oh no, we've got some soil. I did get some lollies in the, uh, in the lolly bus. I got some millions because they're hard to find. Um, favorites are always great. Got strawberry, rainbow and blueberry. Just a little treat. And these were the plants. So mostly jewel allocations. I've got a green velvet here, which pretty sure she needs pretty desperate for a drink. Usually that's what this curling is all about. So I'll give it a drink now. Um, I got a, oh, now I've got to remember. Oh, this, is this? No, that's a, yeah, that's a green velvet. This is an Amazonica which I had one of these in Melbourne that went dormant. It's been dormant for years, um, but this one's doing all right. Uh, this one's a silver dragon. I've had two of these and killed them both. Um, I just don't think they cope in Melbourne. Um, and this one is, is it a green dragon or a, uh, I can't remember also had a tragedy with my nail, snapped right off. Anyway, ignore that. I think this might be a varicosum. I'm pretty sure it is. I might have to do a little bit more research. I've never had one before. Um, so I'm not like super, super, super familiar. I've got a leaf here that's taken some damage, which is a bit sad. Uh, but again, like they all need a repot because they're all a little bit a little bit sad and I got a variegated peace lily because we had one in Melbourne it was beautiful when they get big they're just divine um and they're only five dollars each so I was like 30 bucks can't say no a little bit of my baseline collection back I will be having a lot of my rare plants um imported I did find a way to get them here so that's really good but I'm just going to wait for the weather to warm up a bit although based on today's weather you think it's uh it's already spring here but it's not mm, yeah anyway that's what's happening so far we're at Bunnings <laughs> hello so we've come to Bunnings because we're going to set up some planters for veggies but we found this like egg chair and we're sitting yeah. in it it's $850 it's, it's really comfortable <laughs> <laughs> it's like really comfortable yeah. so we're gonna have a wander around just look at some plants as you guys know I bought some decorative plants um, from the market so we are gonna look at some pots as well we've just popped to Kmart I found a pot there and one pot, one pot. <laughs> and where else did we go uh, oh we popped into like big w and stuff oh yeah. i picked up a worm front farm <clears throat> from um aldi. aldi they had them for 70 dollars and the one here that i was looking at was 75 and i thought oh look it's only a saving of five dollars but we're here so we'll get it turns out it was only 50 dollars so that was good pretty good, saving. good saving. So I've got a worm farm that we've got to set up today. We do have to get some worms. We're going to get some planters. We're going to get some uh, more soil and a few other bits and bobs. So let's, mm. let's go. Okay, so it's the next day. Um, we've been gardening. As you can tell, I'm gross. Um, his nails are jacked up. We've done the worm farm. I did lose a nail completely in the worm farm, so that's great. There it is, uh, just a cheapie from Aldi. We got it at a good price, it was $20 off because it was like, you know, last of the stock. The lid is, mm, had a little bit of piss fighting around getting the lid on, but it's fine, it's got worms in it, it's all good. Um, I've got a mess happening, I'll show you. I repotted up all of these indoor plants and they were all really like soggy. Um, yeah, I'm not surprised so many of them don't look particularly happy, but now they're in a really nice airy mix uh, and they are in some nice little decorative pots. And then here, 
We have a little veggie garden going on, which, look, <laughs> we definitely, we probably need two more of these, um, maybe even three, to actually space the vegetables correctly. They're jam-packed jam -packed in here. I don't, I don't know how it's going to go, but we'll see. We do have some herbs that we need to plant. I've got basil and chives. Um, do we buy another herb? No. I want to dill. Anyway, that's fine. We're actually going to go to another market on the weekend. Um, like a, a, you know, trash and treasure style market. And I'm going to see if I can get some more plants a bit, like, cheap. Um, because, I mean, Bunnings isn't expensive. But also, if you can get them a bit cheaper, then great. I found this at Bunnings. It's a gooseberry. Uh, it was, as you can see, in their like, take it, it's dying section. Um, so I'm going to try and save that. I think we will put it in the garden somewhere. We just will. I didn't want to. I just want herbs here in front of the water feature. But I think we, we might try and find somewhere for it just to get it in the ground. Um, what else did I buy? Oh, I found, oh, I wanted one of the, I had one at home. It's a chain of turtles. Had one at home that was beautiful. I found one at, um, Bunnings. It was like two bucks and I was like, oh, I reckon I can save that. Anyway, once I sort of unpotted it and, uh, tried to find its root system, I was like, no, it's like completely fucked. So I just took a few pieces that looked like they, there was enough there to potentially grow roots. Mm, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I don't, I don't know. Pray. Pray for the poor little plant. We'll see if I can fix it. Anyway, um, I will check back in once we've got the herbs in the ground. I think that's what we're going to do next. So herbs in this section. We did buy some more hose for the um the water fountain so we're going to try and put that together as well um although probably have to take this inside and dry it out um also uh, i got sick can you tell i'm really not i'm not very happy it's been a shit month <laughs> although mom's here and helping me with the garden so that's nice okay there's a little baby gooseberry i don't know if it's gonna survive i hope it does because yum, 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 yum. Um, we got our chives in, which is great. I'm actually gonna take this and stick it in here so I don't forget what it is because I can just see myself one day being like, oh, that's the spring onions. And it's not. Um, and I got the basil in as well. I would definitely say that these guys are probably still planted too close together but they're separated so we'll see how we go if they look like they're dying off what i'll do is i'll get in there and i'll actually separate them plant by plant um i might repot some into little pots and give them away i think that mum and i were both saying like the the bad thing about going to bunnings and buying little seedling packs is sometimes you just get too much um so yeah but we'll see how we go it's all good they'll either live or they won't and if they don't then i'll just keep trying and if they do then great yay oh i just want to get a before shot of this these were small when we moved in like small small this slug remind me to kill that um <laughs> these were small when we moved in and i've just started i was like oh we're out here, so I may as well do something. Started pulling it out. Look at the root system. Look at it. That's ridiculous. It's, I hate them. I hate them. They grow too fast. Yeah. Oh no. Because that's we've got to take the whole root yeah, system out. Yeah, but then you just pick up the dirt and drop the dirt, and the loose dirt will fall off. But. Okay. All right, anyway, I'm going to have a go at this. I'm not going to do all of it. I'm going to do some of it. Yeah, I just, I don't like this grass. It grows like a weed. Okay, here's what we got done. Pulled out this section. Didn't quite finish it. Just because 
our green bin is full already and it's not being picked up for another week so uh, there's not much point what we pulled out of here has to all just sit in bags anyway um, but when Chris comes back we might uh, finish it off Mum and I'll do a little bit more tomorrow and then we can like take it down to the tip. So anyway, getting there. I found this which was a bit worrying. I don't I don't know. I'm gonna let someone who knows what they're doing deal with that. Because I don't know, I don't know. It's like electrical cables. They can, they can't possibly be live though. I don't know. Anyway, there we go. We dug up some garden. Yay. Guys, look at that. That's terrible. What have I done to that nail? I mean, <laughs> see the nail polish is peeled off. How are yours? Oh, yeah, yours <laughs> are black. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go soak these off because there's just a liability with what I'm doing. I actually, I tried something else to adhere these with. It was another one of my, like, um, gel products, and I have learnt my lesson not to bother with that because not a single one of them is like holding well so yeah I'm gonna go soak these off and call it a day tomorrow mum and I are going to Ikea so there will be an Ikea shop with us in your future there will also be a Costco shop with us we're gonna do that on Saturday morning it's been a productive day I've got to go fix these nails like Oh, and I'm putting a moisturising mask in my hair because it's absolute... Look at it. It's just... Ah, oh, it's knackered. The hair needs some real TLC. Nails and hair. Huh. At the airport with mum. She's going home. We've had the shittest fucking morning. I swear to God. I lost my baggage today. Yeah. We nearly, like, missed the check-in simply because I went to the wrong terminal and the terminals are like two hours apart. I was hoping, it's technically August, isn't it? It's the 1st of August? No, it's the 31st. I don't think it is. Hang on, I'm going to double check. There's your bag tag. Oh, Fuck it wasn't hell. stuck there before. Yes, it was. <laughs> what date? What's the date? It is. It's the 31st of July. All right. The worst month ever. The worst. Absolute nightmare from Aww. start to finish. 10 days was good with me. Yeah, it was. But no, because I had to fix your phone. That was a, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. And I wanted to do more. But it's too scared to ask me. Nah, I've had enough. <laughs> It's not been a good month, but it's been good to see mum. Uh, there's a devil dog this morning. Yeah, stop moving it. There you go. That's what mum woke up to. Um, anyway, I'm going to wrap this vlog up. Um, members, oh, yes, mum, we know. They saw it. opened it up. Yeah, they see it. <laughs> Um, members only video coming next. I will hopefully have that up for you tomorrow. Um, and yeah, that's it. I'm going to leave it there. Also, I bought a lemon tree and a blueberry tree. Yeah, a bush, blueberry bush. Okay, I'm going. That's enough of my like <laughs> crazy brain ramblings.